Story 1. Am I the a-hole for forcing my brother to buy me a new engagement ring? I'm 26 male, proposing to my girlfriend 24 female on our fourth anniversary, September 30th. I've been planning this for about a month, and I picked the ring a couple weeks ago. The one I got was on sale, so I managed to get it at a surprisingly low price. Last weekend, I told my brother, 33 male, about my plans and showed him the ring. He informed me that he was proposing to his girlfriend, 29 female, as well. The next day, my brother came to my apartment while my girlfriend was out. He asked me if he could borrow my ring to propose to his girlfriend. I thought he was joking at first, but no. His plan was to propose to his girlfriend, explain he was using my ring as a placeholder, and then take her to pick her own ring later. His reasoning was that he didn't want to spend too much money right away in case she didn't say yes. <laughs> I'd never heard of placeholder rings, so I said no, and the conversation moved on. On Tuesday, he proposed to his girlfriend with my ring. He'd taken it before leaving my apartment. I got distracted at work and didn't notice it was gone until his fiance sent a picture of herself wearing the ring to our family group chat. I called him to ask about the ring and he immediately apologized and said he'd keep his promise and give it back to me. But at this point, my girlfriend had seen it and his fiance had posted about it on social media, so it was pointless for me to propose using the same ring. We fought about it, and he confessed that while he told his fiancée the ring was a placeholder, he didn't tell her where he'd gotten it from. I felt more angry and betrayed about him going behind my back and taking the ring after I said no than the fact that he stole it. I know his fiancé enough to know she wouldn't like to learn her engagement ring had been stolen from me, so I told my brother I'd tell her the truth if he didn't buy me a new engagement ring. He fought against it for a few hours, but finally gave up and agreed. We went to a different jewelry store yesterday, and I picked a new ring. I managed to stay in the price range, but the new one was still $100 more expensive. My brother bought the ring, but is still accusing me of being inconsiderate and childish. He is insistent he would have given me the ring back had I given him the opportunity, and he didn't need to threaten him to spend so much money on me. He's now refusing to talk to me. I don't know how to feel about this anymore. I'd usually talk to my brother about these things, and it's surreal that he's the one I'm fighting. I can't tell my girlfriend, and many of our friends overlap. The only other person who knows about this is our mom, who's divided. She thinks what my brother did was wrong, and I'm right to be peed at him, but I didn't have to stoop as low as I did by threatening his relationship. Am I the a-hole? I mean, I guess I find myself kind of siding with your mom? In this particular instance, where your brother was definitely in the wrong to steal the ring and do what he did, um, I don't know that threatening the relationship was totally okay, but I mean, at the same time, your brother effed up in a pretty big way. Like, that is a thing that would... Not only did he, you know, not consider your feelings and ignore your request, but also, like, yeah, now that his, you know, his fiancé now has posted that picture and that ring online, if you propose with that ring to your girlfriend, she's gonna be like, hey, wait, what? And then you have to explain, and, I mean, I guess, I guess she could probably take that well. I don't know, I don't know. Different people place different amounts of value on these kinds of things, because there are some people that would hear this, laugh it off, and be just fine. And there are other people who would hear this stuff and be like, oh my god, though, but the, she's already posted this, and now it's mine, and people are going to judge me, and ah, so... I don't know, um, yeah, I don't know what the right course of action was in this situation, but your brother screwed up first, and stole an expensive ring for you and went against your wishes, so... I don't think that you're an a-hole in this situation, but uh, I hope that you can talk it out. Story 2. Brother ruined my wedding by proposing, so I ruined his proposal. I, 35 male, have a younger brother, Todd, 29 male, who had a complicated birth and had to stay a month in the ICU, and because of that my parents have always doted on him and almost denied him nothing, even if it was to the detriment of my sister Abby, 32 female, and I. My brother drinks in the attention and has on more than one occasion made himself the center of attention at either my, my sister's, or a cousin's special event. Because of this, Abby and I 
I have a strange relationship with Todd and our parents. Unfortunately, Todd met and fell in love with Lucy, 24 female, who announced her own pregnancy at the baby shower my mom held for Abby. When I proposed to my wife, Michelle, 30 female, I just wanted to elope, but she really wanted her family to be there, so I invited my family out of obligation. While out, my best man, Jim, 35 male, noticed a receipt from a jewelry store slipped out of Todd's pocket. Jim confronted Todd about this, which led to an argument. Jim told me everything, and I told Todd that he was no longer going to be a groomsman because I know he was going to propose at my wedding. Todd cried to our parents, and which led to a blowout. In my parents' eyes, since Todd never admitted that he was going to propose to Lucy at my wedding, I was unfairly judging him. I refused and brought up Todd's past behavior. My parents couldn't refute this and got Todd to agree to not try anything at my wedding. This wasn't enough to convince me to let him be a groomsman, but I warned him that if, as a guest, he'd try anything, I would make him regret it. Fast forward to the wedding, and surprise, surprise, Todd walked over to Lucy and proposed to her during Michelle's father-daughter dance and did it in a way so that everyone would notice. Cue my revenge. Jim and I had hired a woman to pretend to be Todd's side piece who cornered Todd and Lucy and claimed that she was pregnant with his baby. Todd denied this, but when she called his phone, I gave her his number and messed with Todd's phone to incriminate him. It did look good. Lucy threw the ring back at Todd and left in tears. When Todd saw the smile on my face, he knew that it was me and I didn't respond to a single call or text from him or my parents until after the honeymoon. Lucy has thrown Todd's stuff out and has been denying access to their kid. Todd is furious and is demanding that I clear his name. I send him a text saying that I had no idea what he's talking about, as well as a screenshot of a bill for the wedding, and gave a vague message demanding reimbursement for half of the wedding costs. Michelle knew the whole time that I was planning and gave me the green light after Todd ruined her moment with her dad, so I felt pretty good, but now even Abby thinks I went too far. Now I gotta say, it's clever, it's devious, but you might be the a-hole in this situation. Now, absolutely no question, your brother Todd's an a-hole. Your brother Todd is the big a-hole. He's just a, a pulsing, swollen a-hole. Um, and Todd definitely deserved something. However, for proposing during a wedding, which, folks, that's a no-no. Don't propose at someone else's wedding. It's their big day. Weddings are very important to some people. If you propose at their wedding, you might get decked or something and probably kind of deserve that. Like, seriously, let those, let the bride and groom have their day. Don't try and like, be like, and also celebrate me. Like, Please don't do that, okay? Like, I don't care that much about weddings, but even I would never, ever step across that line. No, no, no. However, to make it look like Todd cheated on his girlfriend, whom they have a kid with, that she's now not letting him see, that's too far, I think. Like, that's too much for proposing during your wedding. And it's, uh, I mean, it was devious and very, very clever, but to like a villainous degree to where uh, it doesn't quite feel good or justified. And to have him pay for half of the wedding, like, I don't know, it sounds like you kept the wedding fairly low key, most likely, but some weddings are expensive, like obscenely expensive. Um, you know, the pe some people spend more on weddings than other people have spent on houses, okay? So even if it's a cheaper wedding, that's still probably an awfully big bill. And while Todd definitely deserves something, oh my lord, does Todd deserve to pay in some regard, I think you've crossed a line. But folks in the comments, maybe you disagree. I'm interested in your take on this. Story 3. EM tried to get her daughter my job because I'm chubby. 
This happened today, so I thought I'd share. I'm female and home from college. The stay-at-home order in my town is slowly being lifted, so some businesses are finally opening up. My parents require me to have a summer job. I'm blessed enough that I get to keep all the money I earn. My parents just like me to work to gain experience. This will be relevant later, but I'm not a skinny girl. I wouldn't consider myself large either. I'm five foot six and weigh about 140 to 145 pounds right now and carry most of it in my hips and thighs. The freshman 15 did hit me hard enough as I used to be 120-ish. So after finishing my last online final, my dad called me. He told me that one of his friends who runs a company texted him that they were looking for girls to work in the office answering phones and stuff. I got excited because that's exactly what I wanted, so I put on a dress, printed a copy of my resume, and drove down. The ladies inside were super nice and asked me to fill out an application, so I sat down to do so. And this is where the EM enters. Uh, here's everyone in involved EM entitled mom EG entitled girl female probably 16ish P me. DL1, Desk Lady 1, Front Desk, this woman is relatively thin, which will be relevant later. DL2, Desk Lady 2, Desk Further Back, but still in Rome, this woman is plus sized, which will be relevant later. B, Boss of the Business. We're in the South, which might be relevant, because typically for jobs like this, they're looking for a pretty face to sit behind the counter and talk to customers. This is unspoken, though. Yes, it's awful, but hey, I needed a job. So as I'm filling out an application, EM enters with EG. She announces that she's here about the opening and her daughter would like to apply. Desk Lady 1 explains that she'll need to fill out an application and hands her one and a pen. They came to sit in the lobby right beside me, which I thought was weird, but I didn't say anything. Entitled Mom to me, are you here for the job as well? Uh, yes, ma'am. Hmm. You know, that little cocky sound people make. I ignored her and went up to ask Desk Lady 1 a question about the application. It was about how professional one of my references for babysitting was. When I returned and sat back down, Entitled Mom walked up to the desk. Entitled Mom, does my daughter even really need to fill this out? Uh, desk Lady 1, it's protocol. Boss will look at all the applications and decide who to call in for an interview. Entitled Mom, is he here? I'm sure if he could see my daughter, he'd know who he'd wanted to call. <laughs> Desk Lady One, he is, but he isn't seeing visitors right now. Well, Entitled Mom, how is he to know who to hire if he doesn't know what the girl looks like? Ugh. Desk Lady One, well, he'll need to see their references and make a few calls before he... No, my daughter is an aspiring model. She won, insert local pageant, in 2019. He needs to see her to know she's the face he wants to see behind the counter interacting with customers. Desk Lady One, I'm not sure what you mean. This isn't a modeling job. Looks don't really matter. Oh, I know, but they do. And let's face it, boss isn't going to want... At this point, she leans in closer to DL1. A chubby girl up here, is he? This whole time, Entitled Girl is smirking to me in glances as she fills out her application. This caught the attention of Desk Lady 2 as well as me, and we both looked up at this point. Desk Lady 2. Ma'am, I'm not sure I know what you mean. Entitled Mom. Oh, no disrespect. I just know Boss personally, and I know he'd prefer a new pretty face around the office. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I think there's no question between my daughter and, well, this young lady, for example. Me. No offense, honey. Just trying to save you some time. At this point, I'm in tears. I don't know if it was rage or the sting of her insult, but either way, I was not going to let her see me cry, so I quickly got up and handed my application to Desk Lady 1 before trying to leave. Desk Lady Lady 2, a plus size woman, sweetie, wait, talking to me. Desk Lady 2, you say you know boss personally, right? To entitled mother. Entitled mother, oh yes, we went to high school together. Desk Lady 2, and you know him so well that you know he'd prefer a skinny woman behind this desk? Well, I didn't say that, she did, but I'd assume so. Desk Lady 2, great. Well, I'm his wife, and I've worked behind this desk for almost 15 years now, and as you can see, I could probably drop a few, and I take personal offense to what you're saying about my husband and this young lady, so I'd like you to wait in the car while your daughter fills out her application. Entitled Mother and Entitled Girl both stormed out at that point. Entitled Girl took her application, so I don't know if she'll apply or not, but both women behind the counter told me that Entitled Mother was a B, and they'd vouch for me with the boss, so I'm hopeful that I got the job. Boy, it's not awful that you get to see someone be just that blatantly gross of a human. Just so, 
so bluntly, like not even dancing around that stuff. Just really, A, trying to sell her daughter on her looks and being like, I bet the boss would like this pretty 16-year-old girl, your daughter, that you're trying to sell off of looks. Stop it. A, that's just not even... A, don't talk about your daughter like she's some piece of eye candy for some older man that you went to high school with. That's just weird. Don't. <laughs> I hate that. But also to be like, oh, he's not going to want a chubby girl like this girl. Like, oh my gosh. The fact that that second desk lady, the boss's wife, didn't just say, hey, you can F right off, you piece of crap. Like, <laughs> like that woman did not deserve the patience that she was given. But holy crap, like applause for the desk ladies and the person who wrote this post for keeping any amount of composure around this woman and not flipping out at her and calling her out right to her face because, wow, that must have taken restraint. Just everything about this is awful. I hope this person got that job and that it wasn't all about pretty looks and stuff because that's weird. Uh, I mean, <sighs> man, uh, internet, sometimes you just, you're too much. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.